Let's go! Hi everybody, this is going to be my May Project 10 Pan update and I've been able to update every single month this year so far. I didn't think I would be able to, especially with the new job and everything. So a lot of the videos that are coming out are super old. Like I filmed them in January, February. So I feel a little bit out of practice right now. I really miss doing this. This is how much I miss doing this. There are about eight fires going around in San Diego, two which were in Scripps Ranch, and I was in the middle of filming my Fergie Wet n Wild video. My husband came in and was like, we need to pack a bag because there are two fires in Scripps Ranch. We've just heard that those two have been contained, so I came back to filming. I've been really good about using my foundations and my mascaras. I've completely opened and used all of the mascaras I put into my project print pan. Yeah, I'm a mascara junkie. As soon as I don't like them, I will throw away ones that leave me with squirrel eyes, or raccoon eyes, sorry, squirrel eyes. Um, raccoon eyes, ones that don't hold my curl up, goodbye in the trash. I have found in general that I should stick to Maybelline, CoverGirl, and L'Oreal. Go figure, who would have thought that those three drugstore brands would work the best for me? I've tried high-end brands, for some reason they just don't work that well for me, or maybe I don't let them dry out enough, but those are my favorite, with the exception of the Anastasia Lash Genius. I use that every day as a primer, even though that's supposed to be a top coat. I'm starting to run low on that one, so mascara is one thing that I have no problem using up. I'm going to take you through a series of clips, because every time I did something, well not every time, but sometimes when I did something makeup related, like opened a new product, or went through my drawer, I whipped out my camera and was like, let me film this for my Project Tin Pan update. Uh, I also almost bought another foundation. Shu Mara has 20% off this week. Yeah, I also need to film more haul videos. I found some, I got some cute brushes from eBay. This one looks like the NARS, I forgot the name of it. This looks like the NARS blush or powder brush. It's really nice and soft. I have yet to wash it, but I need to haul this and a couple of other brushes, nifty little brushes that I got from eBay. They took about two three weeks to get here, but they are pretty good quality from what I'm seeing right now, except this one just shut on me. Hope you guys enjoy my Project Tim Pan update. Thank you for joining me, and see you next time. Bye! Because I've opened up all my Project Tin Pan mascaras, I've decided to go through my mascara and sort of pick a couple of new ones to put into... Hello, Ralph! <laughs> Ralph just barged his way into the room. And I think I'll probably use one of these because I have two of them, so why not? Um, I'm still... No, not the Fazio yet. Um, not one of the Lash Discoveries yet, I don't think. This Falsies one looks different than the Falsies that I'm using right now. The Falsies that I'm using right now, the brush looks totally different, so I didn't realize that. Um, I guess because I have two of these L'Oreal 24 hours, maybe I should use one of these that are the same colors. Indeed, they are. So, those two mascaras are the next in my lineup to use. Um, and I'm giving you guys little updates on other makeup just because... I'm done with my mascara, and just to mix it up I opened up this other eye products drawer, and I feel like opening up this Milani Brow Tint. I bought this sometime last year. Put that in my pile as well as something to try to start using. Um, I did almost... No, I'm not quite done with my current one, so I'm not going to open that yet. Almost done with my Jordana eyeliner, but I think I want to finish my chart one before I open a new one. Uh, don't think I will use any of those yet. Oh, I depotted a whole bunch of more Jordana eyeshadows and I put them in my MAC palette. It looks pretty cool. I think I'll show it to you guys later. I wanted to show you guys the Milani Brow Tint Pen on my hand. It's very sheer. I tried it on my eyebrows today and I actually really liked it. Uh, this is the color Natural Taupe and here it is, the Brow Tint Pencil. Let's see. I think I'll open, I'll try out one of my Mineral Wear bronzers. I think I'll try out the one that's in the color bronzer. 
Um, I like the other Physicians Formula bronzers that I've tried. This one is a matte shade, and it doesn't look too dark for me, so I'll try this one out. Oops, I shouldn't throw it on the floor so roughly. Uh, I don't think I'll open any of these yet. These are my Mac, Back to Max that I'm saving. I think I'm going to open this. All May Liquid Shadow Color Primer for Brown Eyes as well. It's kind of like a mauve, sparkly primer. There it is on my hand. I actually like the color a lot more than I thought I would. And it went on really smoothly as well. So I'm not quite sure how it's going to work on my eyelids yet because I haven't tried it. But on my hand, so far, so good. The top color is the primer put on without being sheared out and then the color underneath is what it looks like sheared out. Uh, it definitely shears out quite a I'm bit. I'm just showing you guys all kinds of randomness today but this is my custom MAC palette and um, these colors here are my MAC shades. Um, this one was a depotted Sephora eyeshadow that they gave me once in a VIB bag. These three here are e.l.f. shadows, and then um, this is a Coastal Scents, and after I depotted these things, so let's take out the Sephora one. I just put a magnet on the bottom, which I got on eBay. I can, I can stick the link at the bottom uh, in the down bar, and then these three are Jordana eyeshadows. They fit in this pan as well. This is magnetic, so the magnets stick on the back. Everything was incredibly easy to depot. Um, just had to leave it on the hot iron with foil for a little bit longer than I normally would have thought. I know in my March update I had finished my Revlon Whipped uh, Natural Tan, and I really missed it. I really like the formula, so I'm going to open up my... Revlon in early tan to use as my contour.